There are few places as diverse and cubic as the world of Minecraft. From its frigid tundra to its arid deserts to the heights of its soaring peaks, it can be one of the most downright ugly places to witness, yet also be a monument to the human soul and creativity. Join us as we follow a fellow traveler through this harsh world and explore the minds of the imagination. Our brave hero, let's call him Steve, suddenly finds himself in an alien world with nothing in hand but a will to live and the means to do so. As night approaches, he must gather the necessary materials from his surrounding environment with his bare hands to build a shelter for the impending dangers. Using just wood and dirt, he's able to create a humble shelter for the night, just in time. It's no palace, but I'll suppose it'll have to do. He waits alone in the cold, dark interior and listens in terror to what cannot be seen. Finally, with the rising of the sun, the sky gives birth to a new day. He has survived his first night, but now with newfound confidence, greater challenges stand ahead of him. With a new day, comes new responsibilities to prepare him for dark. Without haste, he quickly marshals enough resources together to form a mining pick. This will help him get through that tough stone at last. Having been digging to exhaustion, our tired miner returns to the surface to build a chest to store his bounty. There, it should be safe for the moment. He looks outside at the amber glow of the sky and decides he's not going to sit in the dark again. Those should do nicely. Now it's beginning to feel like a home. He has just a short amount of time before dark and hears the sound of a promising opportunity to regain his energy for tomorrow. A lone sheep, this should make a good meal and provide enough materials for a place to lay his head. It can often be a cruel world, but none of the kill will be wasted tonight. And with a brief meal, it's time to rest. With another new day, Steve realizes he needs to create a consistent source of food. So he gathers some wood with a newly forged axe and begins to farm. They sure do love wheat. Now, having established himself, our hero finally feels ready for the night. Darkness sets. The night comes alive with the sounds of creatures wanting a piece of Steve's life. A large spider. Scary, but no problem when prepared. A skeleton. Great aim, but fumbles up close. A zombie. Could this be his predecessor? Well, it's now clear to who this land belongs to. Suddenly, just outside his house, he hears a lit fuse. Oh my, that's going to be a pain to fix. But as they say, as the world keeps on turning, the creepers will keep on creeping. What's this? A wolf? I'm sure we've got something you'd like. I guess it's time to give a dog a bone. There. Friends for life. As the weeks pass, Steve continues to build his subterranean empire, going back and forth between his hold and the mines. He discovers great chasms filled with underground wells and bubbling pits of magma. Abandoned mine shafts from others like him from long before, and hordes of monsters that stand in his way. 
but like all great diggers, he perseveres. As his tunnels and command of resources expands, so does his armory of tools and weapons, as well as his thirst for more. One day, while having some fun with a few blocks of obsidian, something miraculous happens. What can this be? He's suddenly frozen in anticipation. He fears what stepping into the portal could do, but he's been able to conquer all before now. Surely he's ready for a new adventure, and with calm hesitation, he steps through. He instantly feels an increase in temperature as his eyes adjust to the darkness, and he acclimates himself to his new surroundings. He has entered the nether, and stands now in a dark foreboding fortress surrounded by magma. Excited by all the new resources, he gathers a few and explores the dark halls. What's this? A light at the end? Only one way to find out. He now stands in terror at the precipice of hell. Oh look! A large floating object is headed this way. He's motionless. Curiosity has paralyzed him. And with the terrifying shriek of a soulless child, it's all over. Our hero meets the most unfortunate end and disappears. But life, once you know it, always finds a way. Like a cruel joke, Steve has been brought back. Naked of his finds, and without a thought begins anew. In search of his dwelling, so he can get back to digging, to killing, and continue to create wonders. While a bit rough on the edges, these are two of man's most primitive desires. To destroy, and to build. Culminating in one glorious, timeless experience.